Well, at first, when I when I first heard about it from a resident in the community, I was just astonished that somebody would do this. This week, residents near Oriel Park in Toronto got a bit of a scare when this highly detailed sign, appearing to be from the city, popped up, indicating a high-rise development was being proposed in the middle of the park. The City of Toronto, in a written statement to City News, confirming this development sign is a fake and no such development is planned. Staff will attend the park, if they haven't already, and have it removed. Now that does appear to be the case. As of Friday afternoon, that sign, which was here on the fence that lines the tennis court, is gone. Somebody deliberately went out of their way to deceive this neighborhood. Josh Matlow, a Toronto City Councillor, posted the photos to Twitter, warning neighbours that the sign was a fake. He says he's worried there may still be people who haven't gotten the message. You know, I do worry that people are going to be deceived by people who are putting a lot of effort into deceiving them. Based on sort of where that tower appeared in the sign, yeah. where in the park theoretically would it have gone? So, it looks like it would have been right here. Right here, right, right, right where, where we're standing. standing now. Yeah. At the same time, a number of other signs popping up, appearing to be from concerned neighbors trying to save the park. But Mallow says even the way those signs appeared appear possibly suspicious. It is, it is a puzzle and a mystery as to what the motivation was behind this and if it was the same person who did all of this. Would you support a high-rise development next to the tennis court here behind me? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> no, not a chance. Like, we, we live in this park. We just live around the corner. It's a, a little gem in the city. Some people think it's funny, some people not so much. Where do you fall on that? In terms of just, like, it being a joke, um, so long as it's just, you know, not actually going to happen, I don't think it's going to hurt anybody. But I can imagine people were definitely freaked out about this, you know? I can see both ways. Like, I mean, when I first saw it, it looked pretty legit. And so it was like, you know, what on earth is happening here? And then the closer you look at it, you can sort of see things that were adding up. This particular sign, some may see it as funny, some may not. Where do you stand on it? Lying to an entire community and putting fear into them that they might lose their park in the middle of a pandemic is not funny. It probably goes without saying, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Sure. At this time, is it safe to say the city of Toronto is not looking at uh, condo developments in any of the city's parks? Condo developments are not allowed in our city parks. Our parks are for our communities and uh, they are not for condo developers. So this was a lie. People were deceived and I want to understand who did this and why. This is not the first time prank signs like this have popped up in the city. If you think you encounter another, you're urged to contact the city directly. In Oriole Park, David Zura, City News.